We have another type of the manometer is called differential YouTube manometer. There is a, the, the shape is like, it looks like a U, okay, YouTube. And it is a manometer, but it's both like the size or limbs of the manometer are connected to the pipe. Okay, so in here, imagine it just connected to like a one upper stream, for example, is flow running upward like this side. And there is like the first connection to the point here with the pressure P1 as a parametric value. And the second, like the limb or the light, right limb is connected to the point P2 uh, somewhere uh, uh, downstream. Okay, imagine this downstream is upstream. Normally in the pipeline, the like the uh, like somewhere upper that the flow is just running is called upstream and this one is called downstream, okay? So for this case, like the P1 and P2, so let's just do a calculation and see how we can just go ahead with this one. For this example, the purpose of this differential YouTube manometer is to calculate the uh, difference of the pressure, P1 minus P2. So that's the purpose. And in, we know because of the, like the flow running here or the pressure here, and the pressure here, uh, in here, the difference is happening here and the pressure at the first limb or the left limb is like higher and push it. And that's difference HM of the mercury happening like this normally. Okay. If the pressure, for example, applying from the upside to the down, or, or for example, the flow is running from the upside to the downwards, like here in this direction, this kind of like the differential or the difference of the mercury is just going to be vice versa. So we, this, this limb, uh, right limb will be like the lower level than the, than the right limb, the level of the mercury. So the rule is the same. So we are just going to just draw a X, X line in a lower uh, separation. So for example, we have two separation on the left limb and the right limb, both of them. But the rule is that we are just going to draw a X, X line uh, through the lower separation. And we're just gonna write in the left limb, the pressure and uh, level XX. So in here, we just, just pay attention. Doesn't matter, it's like a curve or something. We're just gonna use the vertical, vertical distance, okay? Just bear in mind, it's very important. So for the left limb, the pressure from this point to the like a point P1, okay? So we're just gonna measure the vertical distance from the XX line to that point is equal to rho gz1, okay, rho gz1 plus p1, this for the left limb. For the right limb, uh, partially is like, or has got a like a mercury, and the rest of that is like the pipe liquid with the rho. We're just gonna write for that the uh, partly, which is related to hm, or the mercury, we can write like the rho mg hm uh, plus g, uh, rho gz2, which is a like the pipe liquid, until we're just gonna to get to the point P, so P2. Equating the left-hand side, because we know the pressure at the same level at the same, uh, uh, we can equate the right-hand sides. So we're just gonna write here, uh, the first right-hand side is rho gz1 plus P1 is equal to rho mgm plus rho gz2 plus P2. If you rearrange, the purpose is to calculate the P1 minus P2. So uh, we can calculate P1 minus P2. Uh, is equal to this value, okay? All other terms, we can, we have three terms, we can just put it on the right-hand side. So as you can see here, this is very similar to the like the YouTube, but the only difference is that we have like a more algebraic terms here. For example, here, rho gz2 minus rho gz1 appear here. So the, the purpose here for this kind of like the differential YouTube manometer is to calculate the uh, difference in pressure. So the difference in pressure P1 minus P2 can be calculated like this one. And if you factor, if you factor the rho g from the second and third term, you can easily write rho g inside the bracket z2 minus z1. Okay. And this one, just bear in mind, this is like the general case for the sloping pipeline, because this is like the general term that we, that the pipe is a sloping. In case that the pipe is horizontal, if it's like a horizontal, we just have Z1, if imagine the pipe is horizontal, Z1 is equal to Z2 plus HM, just in case if the pipe is horizontal, okay? 
you can imagine how it is possible. Uh, but still, there is a difference of the level between Mercury on the left limb and right limb as well because of the pressure. I mean, at that one, the pressure is it, uh, push more compared to the right one. We learn later that uh, it's because of the we have a like a pressure head loss at the point P2, the pressure is less. So the amount of the push is less than the pressure at the beginning or that opposite uh, point. Anyway, once we have like a horizontal pipeline Z1, we can write is equal to Z2 plus, H, uh, plus HM. And if we're just gonna replace uh, or substitute Z1 in this formula, in the last formula here, we're just gonna have inside the brackets, we can just put Z2 plus HM and Z2, Z2 here cancel out. And we can just uh, write two terms. And if we can factor GHM, GHM is like a uh, common like the parameters and inside the bracket we can just write rho m minus rho okay so the difference in pressure is equal to rho gha inside the bracket rho m or the density of the mercury minus rho okay in general let's just review what you're just going to do uh, to solve all these kind of like the problems first of all you need to just draw a like the xx line at the lower surface of separation then work out the pressure at x x level for each limb and then uh, and you know how to just calculate that one you can just write the pressure uh, opposite of that point and third we need to just equate the third step is to equate the pressure in the two limbs and solve the unknown pressure normally so let's go with that kind of like the uh, introduction and knowledge go with example two we have a differential u manometer is used here to change the pressure to measure the change in pressure between two points in a pipeline which carries oil with the relative density of the 0.8 uh, relative density just bear in mind means that the density of the oil uh, relative or divided by the density of the water okay the ratio of the density of the oil to the density of the water is called relative density 0.8 the lower parts of the youtube contains mercury uh, I mean, the, here, the lower part of the U2, with the density of the uh, relative density of the 13.6. This is kind of like the uh, presenting the relative density or presenting density in this way is really, is, is really common because they don't want to just use a very like a big figure. The main purpose is that because the row of the water is normally like a thousand and they can easily divide by a thousand. Just bear in mind all the time, it's like the relative, uh, it, this kind of like the relative density is the divisions by the density of the water, which is uh, assuming to be a thousand. And you can see these figures are much, much uh, smaller. And the other like the point here, uh, presenting this way is like a dimensionless. You don't need to just mention like a kilograms per cubic meter. Anyway, uh, and we have like an increase in elevation between the two points, between this point and this point, P1, P2, the difference in elevation is like the 0.26, meters okay if z1 z2 and hm is given to us z1 0.6 uh z2 0.37 and hm is like 0.13 meters all in meters calculate the difference in pressure so let's just go with the whatever we have first of all we need to just calculate the density of the oil and density of the mercury so you can easily if the relative density the density of the oil or whatever divide by the raw of the water we can easily uh, multiply that relative density times the density of the water, which is a thousand. In this case, uh, density of the oil is uh, 100 kilograms per cubic meter and density of uh, mercury is uh, 13,600 kilograms uh, per cubic meter. So we just draw like the XX line and uh, through a lower surface of separation, which is this one, just bear in mind, is very important lower surface of separation and then for the left limb we can easily write px at this level uh row zero or row oil or row oil sorry gz1 z1 is like the vertical distance to the point p1 plus p1 it's like the point that we're just going to just write it here that we don't know and substitute the figure or the values here is like the 800 times 9.81 times 0 0.6 which is like the 4709 plus P1, this is like a PX on the left, in the left limb. On the right limb, we can just write the same, 
So PX on the, uh, this is like the left limb. On the right limb, we can just easily write row MGM uh, plus row zero, or row O, sorry, row O, uh, GZ2, and plus P2. So row M is like the 13,600 times 9.81 times HM, which is given to us 0.13 plus uh, row oil, 800 times 9.81 times 0.37, uh, which is given to us, uh, plus P2. So the result is 23073 plus P2. Because on the left side are the same, uh, we can equate on the right, two right hand sides. Uh, so we can just write like a 4709 plus P1 is equal to 23 or 37 plus P2. If we rearrange the like a P1 and P2, and P1 and P2 on the left hand side is equal to the difference on the uh, numeric values, which the result is 18,364 newtons per square meter. So that is the result of this example.